Would you like to achieve any goal you set? Today's episode, Training Your Mindset for Success. We're going to be talking about how a successful mindset helps you to powerfully connect, sell with ease, and leave lasting impressions. Hi, I'm Lisa Hannigan. Welcome to Engage and Shine. I created this show for you because I believe we all have a spark that's ready to be lit. Today's guest is going to be empowering you with the formula to develop more success and master your intu intuition. today to be having Vicki McGrath. And yes, Vicki, I'm excited that you are here with us and you're going to be sharing some powerful informa information with us. And who does not want to achieve any goal that they set? I know I do. <laughs> and you're going to be able to equip us with those tools. Before I bring Vicki on and she takes us on this powerful journey and equips us with this formula, let me give her a official introduction. So Vicki McGrath is a professional speaker and expert on success mindset with 25 years of speaking experience across North America. Vicki's proven formula provides audiences with the tools to completely transform their mindset to success and achieve any goal they set. She has decades of in the trenches speaking experience and wisdom to share. She understands the dynamics of business from startup to turnaround. Vicki has owned her own business since 2015 Prior to owning her own business, Vicki was in the government for 20 years. Vicki has also recently written the first draft of her book and looks forward to publishing it to reach more people worldwide. Hopefully, we'll get to hear a little bit about her book today as well. That's very exciting, I know. So exciting, exciting to have you here. And I'm very honored that you're going to be sharing all this information with us. Like I said, Vicki, welcome to Engage and Shine. And I am thrilled that you have chosen to share this formula with us. So Vicki, take us on this powerful, powerful journey of being able to achieve these goals that we've set for ourselves. Well, thank you, Lisa. It is just so fabulous to be here. And I really look forward to uh, going through my formula and hopefully bringing your audience a little closer to uh, their goals as we uh, go through my powerful formula and, and help them to achieve their success mindset. So I thought if it's okay with you, I would maybe just give a little bit of background around how I came to be in this uh, place speaking with you today. And a little bit about how I really sort of learned about success mindset myself. Uh, I really uh, enjoy the process of being in business. I love being in business. I love interacting with people. I'm an extrovert. I enjoy the process of going out into the community and speaking with others. And so when I began to uh, you know, have to isolate as a result of the COVID pandemic that we've just uh, all experienced, I started to feel very isolated. And I, I started to develop some real anxiety around the whole process of having to stay inside, trying to figure out how to continue to run our business, which was really based a lot on face to face relationships, events, interacting with the community and community partners. So as I, you know, sort of fell into a little bit of anxiety uh, from that isolation, I noticed that my mindset really suffered a lot. And I would wake up each day kind of on this negative uh, spiral of a repeat, you know, uh, anxiety, how can I do this? What's going to happen? How do I operate my business this way? And I feel like I 
really, uh, you know, started to struggle with how to move forward productively. And my husband is uh, an introvert. He and I are in business together. He's an introvert. So he didn't really notice so much the need for isolation. And so, you know, maybe others wouldn't have the same experience that I did uh, with the isolation and anxiety. But what he said to me was, Vic, you have to figure this out yourself. It's not something I can help you with since it doesn't really bother me. So, you know, that was great. I, I was, you know, forced to set about figuring it out for myself. And what I uh, decided to do was really look at mindset, because that was really the key piece, right, was why was I suddenly in this spiral of negative thoughts on repeat? And what could I do about that? And funnily enough, you know how it goes, uh, as I started to think about this, I noticed a book on my shelf that I had had for well, a couple of years, I guess, but hadn't looked at. It's called Train Your Brain by Dana Wilde, and it was all about mindset. And so that was my first step. I decided to uh, take action on the mindset piece and see if I couldn't uh, start with you know, looking at that and how I could change that and if that wouldn't be of benefit. So this was really how I came to know this formula that I now really want to share with others so that if they find themselves in this position, for whatever reason, you know, a pa pandemic is unprecedented. But what I love about mindset training is that it can be used in any situation. And so I would love to just, you know, let people know that what happened for me was that, you know, first of all, I noticed that I was having these negative repetitive thoughts. I felt anxious. I had feelings of isolation. So there were feelings associated with those repetitive thoughts and the feelings were bad. <laughs> I didn't want to continue with that. So the next step was I decided not to. Uh, continue with those repetitive thoughts. So, uh, you know, then what uh, Dana Wilde teaches is that you replace your negative thoughts with more positive ones, and then you start to feel better. And so, you know, it, it seems so funny to think that the that that could be such an easy process. And I'll go through that a little bit more. But I just wanted to quickly go through the, the formula so that I can go back and talk a little bit more about it. But the, you know, once you choose more positive thoughts and feel better, then all of these great ideas, insights, people, circumstances, things that would never have been able to come through before suddenly start to come through and you can take action in a new and positive direction. And so that's really, that it boils down my formula in a nutshell. It's really quite easy, but if you don't know how to do it, then it's not easy. It's not simple. If you're stuck in a mindset, a negative spiral, and you don't know what to do, then I hope that this formula will help others to, you know, be relieved of their negative spiral and feel better uh, and move forward productively. And so that's how a success mindset is actually developed. I love that. I love that it, it starts with but you have to choose. Yeah. And, 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 and you, you make it sound like it's easy, but you're right. I, I think we do get stuck and we don't even know that we have a choice. We don't, I don't think we know that we have a choice. We're just stuck in this cycle of negativity and it keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper. And we, I, I, I don't think that we, we can pull ourselves out sometimes. Well, and it's not your fault. And mm -hmm. it wasn't my fault. It's nobody's fault. And I think this is where you have to be really careful about how you frame this process, right? Because those beliefs, thoughts, habits that we have, you know, mindset is a combination of thoughts, beliefs, habits, and feelings, right? We learn throughout our lives. And I like to look at our mind like a cell phone or a computer, right? Uh, when you look at a cell phone or a computer, our minds are so much more powerful, so much more amazing, so much more incredible. And yet 
when you think about a phone or a computer, it's being programmed by an expert, someone who has studied, who knows what they're doing, knows how to program that phone or that computer for exactly what it's meant to do. When we think about how our minds are programmed, they're programmed by people who have no idea what they're doing. And that's nothing to say bad about our parents, our teachers, our friends, our family, that's not saying anything negative about them. But what it is saying is that when we grow up, we grow up with the beliefs, the habits, the thoughts, the emotions that go along with all of those things. And none of those are actually ours. And so when you say, first off, it takes the, you know, you have to make a choice. That is so key. Because if you don't even know that those thoughts that are repeating through your mind day in and day out are not even your thoughts, then how can you choose better thoughts? So that is the, that is the most amazing thing to me is that I realized that all the thoughts that continue through our minds day in and day out, you know, 90% of them are the same thoughts that we thought yesterday <laughs> and the day before that and the day before that. And, you know, as we're growing up, if you think about it, everything we as humans do to grow is through repetition. So if you repeat, you know, how to eat, how to walk, how to speak, what language you learn, all of those things, right? We're not born with language. We're born with the capacity to learn language. So our family teaches us to learn English or Spanish or Italian or wherever we are in the world that oh, we learn multiple languages, but we're not, you know, we're all born with the same capacity to learn and to grow. And it just depends on the programming uh, that we are born with and that we go through that really depends what the predominant thoughts are in our mind. So if we're, you know, if we're programmed by people who are successful and positive and motivated, and they teach you those things, then that's what we learn. And that's how we go forward in life. But if we are, you know, taught by our family and friends that life is a struggle, that it's difficult to succeed, that it's hard to do things, then that's what we learn. And that's what we feel is actually the truth for us. But the reality is none of that is the truth. What we want is the truth. And so that's why choosing your mindset is so key. So that's why you notice. So, you know, I go back to the point of it's nobody's fault. It's nobody's responsibility that that this is the way things have gone for you in your life. You know, your parents, your family, everyone's just doing the best they can with what they know because they don't realize that they were programmed for generations before them and that they've just taught you what they know. So it's now time to notice what are the repetitive thoughts that are going through your mind? What's the program that you see? Are you hearing your mom say something, you know, that is no longer valid in your life? Have you got thoughts about things that really aren't helpful for you anymore? So noticing these is kind of the first, uh, is the first step in the process. And I don't mean you know, notice and feel bad. I don't mean notice and think, oh, mom, you know, or oh, dad, or oh, whoever. I'm just saying notice. So take stock, right? Go through it for a few days. Just notice, you know, what, what is the predominant thought that comes through my mind? Is it, and notice, is it the same thought that happened yesterday and the day before and the day before, right? So just notice, start with that. And then once you notice what those predominant thoughts are, just decide, to say, I am not going to continue to allow those thoughts to ruin my day. I am going to choose new thoughts and I am going to choose the thoughts that serve me as I am now in my life and how I want to be going forward. And so that is the key piece there. So you first, you notice, then you decide, and then, you know, they're not your thoughts, right? So you don't even have to feel bad about it. You don't have to think, oh, I've, I've thought those thoughts my whole life. How can I let them go? You don't have to think that at all. You just have to decide, I'm going to choose new thoughts, right? You don't even have to worry about those thoughts anymore. Just say, I'm going to choose new thoughts. And then you choose more positive thoughts. And, you know, there are so many studies that show that affirmations or mantras work 
uh, wonders because you know, the, the point is that you're replacing negative thoughts with positive thoughts. But I think the challenge with choosing more positive thoughts is that we maybe go a little bit too overboard. We maybe choose thoughts that are a little bit too far beyond or, you know, they, they require a lot more expansion than maybe we're ready for. And so I always choose really general, soothing, positive thoughts. You know, I can do this. I can figure this out. Everything is working out for me. Everything is unfolding in perfect timing. You know, just really general, easy thoughts just to start with, because if you start too specific, like I'm earning a million dollars or I am rich, you know, your mind is going to go, uh, hello, I don't think that's right. <laughs> and then it's going to throw in all kinds of roadblocks and barriers. And this will happen anyway. So I, I think that's really important to notice is that once you start to choose more positive thoughts, you know, you will start to feel relief, but the program will also start to kick up a fuss. It will say, oh, this isn't what we thought before. This isn't, this is new. I'm not sure I like this. Where is this going? You know, what happened to all the thoughts that are in there? Don't they have a place anymore? And when you start to notice that, you know, it, it will come in the form of your, possibly your family saying to you, that's crazy. You know, what, do, what do you know about mindset training or how can you do that? That's not, that's not normal. Or I don't know how you do that. You know, you just have to really be aware, right? That as you're working on your own mind and your own mindset, that the program will notice and it won't like it because it wants you to stay the same. It wants the familiar. It wants you to continue thinking the same thoughts that you've always thought because something new is scary. It's risky. And they, you know, the, the program doesn't want you to fail. They don't want you to, to risk. And so I always really like to bring that up as something that is really probably going to happen as you start to go down this route and you choose this formula just to be aware so that you can say, aha, oh yeah, there's that program. Oh, hi, mom. Thanks for coming over. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> and just try to make it try to make it fun so that it's it's part of the process of being soothing and positive as opposed to feeling fear and gripped with fear and if you do feel fear and you are gripped with fear that's okay just go back to soothing general thoughts I can do this everything is working out for me I can do this everything is working out for me just so that you can continue to move forward and progress and so what I say about the next step is is take action on the ideas and insights, the people, the circumstances, the things that flow into your mind. You know, this, this can only happen when you have made room for new positive growth in your life, right? You can't, you can't continue down the same thoughts. You can't use the same thinking to achieve new results. You must install new thoughts into your mind to open your mind to new ideas, circumstances, and insights. And so this is what I call our intuition. But really, all it is, is it's just, it's sifting out the negative, repetitive thoughts and allowing positive thoughts in. And then when the positive thoughts come in, all of these great ideas pop up because they were never allowed to move in before because they didn't have space in your mind. So I call it intuition, but it's really just your mind, you know, coming up with great ideas for you, uh, coming up with new insights, coming up with new people. Maybe it's a new book that you could read that would move you forward. Maybe it's a workshop you could take or some personal development course, something that you can do that will help you to feel excited and energized about life. And that is the key is when you start to go through the formula, you start to feel better. And better is the most important thing. It does, you don't have to feel perfect all the time. You don't have to feel like you've got this, you know, you've got this slipped and you know everything there is to know. It's a process. It's every single day. Every day, you just take another step, another step. You see what's happening. You notice that that repetitive thought is coming back and you just let it, let it settle and go on with your positive thinking. And so that's the, you know, that's the, the part that I love about it is that 
you can use this process throughout your life in whatever circumstance you're in. Because what happens when you allow that positive feeling, that's when you feel motivated and excited. And that's when you take action. And that's when you can set goals, when you can take action towards your goals, and when you can achieve goals. And that's the that's the most exciting and fun part is because as humans, you know, we're really quite action oriented. We love the process of, of achieving. And that's exciting for us. And so you know, to, to my mind, the feeling excited and energized is something that, you know, most of us probably don't feel on a daily basis because we're continuously working with the same old thought patterns, the same thought patterns, the same beliefs, the same habits. And so the same feelings come along, right, with all of those, those old habits and beliefs. And so once we start to have new feelings of feeling better and positive and excited and energized, well, then, you know, the, the world is yours. You can decide whatever you would like to do and, and choose whatever goal you like and use the process. And the, the fun thing I like about a mindset training is that you, you don't even have to tell anyone. You can just keep it all to yourself, right? You don't have to tell anyone. In fact, so I like to not tell anyone because then that's when the doubters will come in and say, you can't do that. What do you know about that? You're not trained. You're not experienced. You're not skilled. You don't have that certification or that qualification. You know, if you don't tell anybody, then you can just plug away at whatever makes you happy and make progress that way. And no, you don't have to be responsible or accountable to anyone. You just have to feel better. So I was wondering, Lisa, how do you feel? Do you, does this process, do you feel like this process resonates for you? Can you see a time in your life that you maybe use something like this? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I love, uh, I love, well, I love what you just said. I had, I had to chuckle <laughs> that you don't want it, that you don't tell anybody, <laughs> Um I know this definitely resonates. And uh, I will say, going back to, you know, you talking about uh, just the, you know, going through isolation and thinking about because I started my business officially, right when COVID hit. <laughs> so uh, it was a, you know, it was a different feeling from being in corporate for over 20 years. And then uh, you know, being, feeling like I was all alone all of a sudden and trying to do something different and training my mind to go through that and to think about, uh, the naysayers and mm -hmm. what, you know, listening to what they said and this, and, and you do, you, it does start by making that choice. And, and I want to go back to that because I think that that is where a lot of times we, truly do get stuck and and it's so funny how we don't see that we do really have the power to make the choice to think the thoughts that we want to think and to move past the point that we're in to to climb out of that negative space that we're in but sometimes we just can't see it and we get we get so bogged down in that negativity and i see that happen all around me so much uh but this is really interesting how you you i guess i haven't thought about it in a way of my thoughts not being my own thoughts so i really i really um started it, this just got my wheels turning in my head about things that I learned growing up and people that I was around and even when you started working uh the 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 things that you learned from your first boss and you're you know and you're so impressionable and you wanted to do good and they said this to you and it stuck with you and it just you know it got my wheels turning at how the first step of becoming my own boss, you know, be going out and being an entrepreneur, how I had to basically reframe my own thoughts at, I can do this. And I had to think differently. So I, I love this. And I wrote down the name of this book, train your brain by Dana wild. I've got to check this out. 
Uh, I think that that, you know, that that's got to be something that would be so powerful and helpful to many people. I agree. And uh, she's got so many great, uh, so many great exercises in her book. So if, you know, if one doesn't resonate, you can try something else. And that's what I really loved about the book is that it helped me to work with, you know, with me and my circumstances and how I felt. And I just want to uh, just talk about a, a goal setting thing quickly yes. around, you know, kind of the, the goal setting piece is that, you know, when you set a goal for yourself and you're excited and you're energized and you're motivated, right, that the mindset is so key because as you make progress and you start to get that doubt, that anxiety, that feeling like, oh, I, I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. And you get stuck in that fear and that freeze mentality, right? That's so paramount to go back to that soothing, gentle, very general, and then allow your mind to un unfold, you know, relax and get away from that first grip of anxiety. And that's where, you know, so many of us abandon our goals, abandon our dreams. Oh, I can't do it. It's too hard. I don't know how to do it. I haven't got anybody to help me. I, you know, I haven't got anyone to show me how to do that. And so when I talk about goals, I'm, you know, you have to be prepared to do whatever it takes to achieve your goal or your dream and recognize that it might take time, that as you allow your mind and to open up, to be more positive, to feel better, next steps will come to you. They will make, you know, they will show up for you. And then you have to be positive and open enough to notice that this has come for you to support you in your next step. It might be a person, you might have to pay someone to go to a workshop, you might have to buy something to make that next step. I don't think anybody uh, should be naive to think that when I'm saying something's going to come, it's going to be free and easy, right? It's about making progress. It's about making the commitment to yourself that that goal that that dream is worth it. And you're going to just continue to move forward, you're going to burn all the bridges behind you. And that is all of those old thoughts and habits and patterns that were holding you back, just get rid of them, let them go. And, and then as things progress, as things progress, it, it, it could take time. I'm going to tell you about my own quick, quickly before because I, I know we're coming to a close a little bit about my own long term uh, goal. So in 1999, my husband and I went to Hawaii to get married. And we went specifically at the time that we did so that I could watch the Ironman World Championships triathlon, which happens every October in Kona, Hawaii. And um, what, that was just the most amazing magical experience for me. We, we were there for 14 hours from the, you know, the swim start. It's a swim bike run race triathlon from the swim start to the finish line of the, of the run. We were there cheering on athletes for 14 hours. This was just something that I wanted to do for fun. It wasn't, <laughs> I didn't know anyone in the race, except that there were two Canadians in the top, top uh, professionals, which was exciting. But at that race in 1999, I decided I was going to do that race one day, even if I had to outlive the competition. <laughs> so, you know, ever since then, I've done triathlon, I've competed in races, I've entered any lottery or contest or anything that I could to, uh, to get into that race. And wouldn't you know it, but in 2021, in the middle of COVID, they offered me a spot. So 22 years later, I'm offered the, the spot, uh, one of my lifetime goals in the middle of COVID. And am I going to say no, because it's COVID? <laughs> Not in your life. <laughs> right? So uh, along with it comes a, a lot of, of preparation, a lot of, of you know, intense training and a lot of fundraising and so I said yes and fortunately they transferred it to 2022 because we couldn't even travel in 2021 so this October I will be going to Hawaii to complete that lifetime goal so when I say it could take time 
So when you set a goal or you have a dream, recognize that it might not happen for 22 years and be okay with that. But that is the key piece. You, you have to be okay with however long it takes. And this is why it's so difficult in the corporate environment to have these short-term KPIs and metrics that you know you can contribute to. There's no question in my mind you can contribute to it. So that's where mindset training really, really helps so that, you know, when you're in a position where you're in your job, you need to make, make certain deadlines, you need to make certain sales, you have KPIs that you're or metrics that you're responsible for. That's where mindset training is really key, right? Really, really key is to continue to allow the good ideas, the insights, the thoughts to flow to you so that you're not cut off from them and that you're not stuck in anxiety or, or uh, negativity and repetitive thoughts. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to drop that in there because, uh, it, you know, in life, things don't always happen by the quarter as they do in corporate <laughs> or in other, in other situations. Uh, and sometimes things take time and, and that's okay. If you're committed and determined, then you can use your mindset to succeed and achieve any goal. That's so true. I, and, and I think that patience is the key. Sometimes I, I know that, you know, there are so many goals that we think are going to happen one way and there they don't, they, they do take time and they take patience and it is about progress. And if you are still putting one foot in front of the other and you are making progress, that's what you have to see. You have to see the full picture. And I know that, you know, we're, we're doing the show live and I, I, you know, there could be people who are listening to this a little bit later and watching replay, but I do still feel it's important to mention, I, I was really uh, intrigued by the fact, and I feel like it was destiny that you're on today of all days we're here we are it's July 2nd and I just had this conversation I did this uh, yesterday because I felt compelled it was July 1st we're halfway through the year and I talked about goals and uh, it's I just felt compelled I, it was on my heart that it's important not to focus on what you said you know this burn the bridges that are behind you what you haven't achieved yet, we, we have a half a year in front of us. You still have, you know, goals that you can achieve. If you're not quite where you thought you were going to be at this point, maybe you need to reassess, maybe you need to realign some things, but you're still, what have you done so far? What have you accomplished? And I listed out what I had accomplished each month of the year so far, and it just felt good to, to put those things down and to share those things. And I encouraged others to do the same. And then I also encouraged them to realize you still have six months in front of you. This year is still not over. There's still so much amazing things out there that you can accomplish. And it's about the progress. Stop focusing on, oh, there's so much. Focus on those things. Little, and I love how you put it. Go back and calm and soothe yourself and go back to something general that can help you focus on what you need to do one step at a time. I love how you put that. That's just That just shows uh, how, you know, that's why you're the expert. Uh, and and uh, I hope people listening realize that it, it's don't overwhelm yourself. It really can be this easy if you just train your mind and get it you know, get it more focused on the positive and where you're going and how you can get there. Well, we are out of time and I know that we could talk so much more about this and, and achieving your goals and having success does help you to feel confident and to share and connect and be so, so much more in life in so many ways. So it is a powerful conversation and we could go on and on and on. I want to say thank you so much. But before we, before we end, I do want uh, you to share where can uh, our, our viewers and listeners find you, Vicki, so that if they do want to reach out and connect with you, how, how can they connect with you? Well, what I did actually, Lisa, is I shared the link to my fundraising page. I'm fundraising for Women for Try, which is a, a charity 
that is encouraging more women to participate in sports, but mm. specifically triathlon. And so what I did was I added the link to my fundraising page. And what I would love is if people want to reach me, they can reach me through that. If they would like to make a donation, that's wonderful. But also what I would like to offer is that if anyone has a business or, a, or is in business and they would like to have me speak uh, on success mindset or goal setting, then I would be happy to do that in exchange for a donation or a sponsorship. And so that's how I have uh, left it in it, the link in your um, on your page there. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's go ahead just to, for those people who might just be listening only. Let's share that link. Can you just share that out loud with them? Oh, sure. It's uh, it's the Ironman uh, Foundation fundraising link. I'm, I I don't have it up. I'm so sorry. I should. Oh, no, that. no, no. That's that's OK. <laughs> that's all right. Let me. Let me share that real quick uh, with with them so that we have it in here. It is in the sh it's going to be on the show in the show notes. You're correct. And so we will have it there. But I do want to say it for those that may just be listening. I want to make sure that we have it there for for those listening. Uh, it is. Ironman ironmanfoundation.donordrive.com forward slash participant forward slash Vicki hyphen McGrath. So, uh, so, and what a generous offer uh, for you to, to share in exchange for, for speaking uh, to accept a donation. Well, thank you. Thank you again for sharing with us today. Again, powerful uh, mind training uh, to, you know, replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. That is all the time that we have today. Thank you uh, for being here, Vicki. And thank you for those that are uh, catching us live or during the replay. Uh, please come back. We're here every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have fabulous guests uh, with many wonderful topics and also catch the other shows on Win Win Women. Seven days a week, powerful information here to educate and empower you. Thank you so much for joining. And until next episode, keep shining.